Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next puzzle in the Hamilton Sudoku series. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I know that we can win. I know that greatness lies in you. But remember, from here on in, history has its eyes on you. So this puzzle is one of the ones that was created by an anonymous set of setters. Um, and set of setters, um, <laughs> a group of setters um, who have created these puzzles for me um, so that I could record before a moderately big event in my life. At the final show of Hamilton in Melbourne, I was talking to uh, the gentleman who had put on the show um, in Melbourne and I got invited to the opening night in Brisbane. Um, so going up for the formal um, gala event. And that is just a stunning thing for me. So all of a sudden I had to arrange a very, very last minute trip to another capital city, um, several thousand kilometers away, um, and formal attire and all sorts of stuff um, appropriate for the evening. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a big thing for me um, being invited. So um, while I've seen the show many times before and it was like, OK, now I can sort of get back to normal life. It has not been normal for the last couple of weeks and I needed to get some videos recorded and everything. And uh, all my friends were so happy for me. They've recorded this Hamil or they set the created the puzzles for this Hamilton Sudoku series basically around tonight. And there's going to be more puzzles in the series because Hamilton will be touring after this. And I, um, have my wife and I have been planning to go to New Zealand where it's going next. Um, and we'd already made, had plans to do that this year and we'll time it around that as well. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a few Hamilton related holidays this year for us. Um, and yeah, so, um, I'll probably need more puzzles or I might just release these and, fill up some backlog. I'm not sure, but uh, I, I definitely wanted to release these. So thank you everyone involved. So let's have a look at this puzzle, shall we? But as you're seeing this, I am in Brisbane at the uh, gala event. So uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have crop key pairs, which are the dots in the grid. So cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Cells separated by a black dot must be in a one to two relationship, which is one is double the other. Then we've got these uh, lines, which are between lines. And what that means is any digit that is placed on a line must be strictly between the digits at the end of the line. Um... Uh, yeah, that's basically what it means. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Um, let's give this a shot. Um, yeah, I, and uh, I specifically picked this puzzle to be the, the one to be released tonight because, let's face it, of, of all of the times that I've been to see Hamilton, this is definitely going to be one of the most special. So, yeah. Um, where to start with this puzzle? There's definitely multiple places to start. The between lines are quite restricted, but these crop key dots are definitely where I, my eye is being drawn. So if we have a look at these, I can tell the big restriction on these because you can never put five, seven, or nine on a black crop key dot because the ratios of half or double don't work in Sudoku digits. Um, three and six are only in a relationship with each other. So if this was a three, this would be a six and this would have to be a three and I'm doubling up. So these have to be from one, two, four, eight. But you can never put one in the middle because that would require there to be two on each side. And if eight was in the middle, that would be eight on each side. So you end up with this pattern. And it becomes one, two, four or two, four, eight in one direction or the other. And there must be a two or a four on here. But you get the same down here. So this is um, one, two, four, eight, and you can't have one or eight in the middle. You can't even have one here because you can never put one on a between line. Because if you put a digit on a between line, the ends must have one digit higher, a digit that is higher than it and a digit that is lower than it on the ends. That's what between means. This has to be between the ends. So if I put a one here, what's going to be lower than it? A zero, that's not possible. So I can't put a one here. So I can't go one, two, four. So this is not a four. I've got two, four in here with one, two, four, eight. I've got two, four in here with one, two, four, eight. Actually, that's interesting because this is now a one, two, four, eight quadruple. This can't be one because that would make this two. If this is one, this becomes two. 
and I can't do it because I can't use a two because this is a one, two, four, eight quadruple. So this is not one, which means one is in one of these two, which means this is one, two, four in one direction. I put two here. I take two and eight out of here. This becomes the eight. This becomes four and this becomes two. This is seven or nine. And it can't be nine because if this was nine, I'd go eight, nine, 10, 11. That's not going to work. This is seven, six, and five. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, three, and nine. That's cool. And I've got another one down here, two, four with one, two, four, eight. Okay, this dot can't have two or four on it. So it, I can't use one, two, I can't use two, four, I can't use four, eight. This is the three, six. And the six here is giving me the order, three and six. Okay. Nine is in one of those two by Sudoku. Three is up here by Sudoku. This is one, I can't use two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I can't put one on a between line. So one is in one of those. Can't put one here, interestingly enough. No, I can. Because one, two, three is possible. I can't put seven here. Because seven, six doesn't work and seven, eight, nine would require a nine. So there's no seven here. Six here would go six, five, which doesn't work. Or six, seven, eight. And I can't do, yeah, if this is a six, this is a five or a seven and neither are possible. This is not six. Now, if this is five. So this is either one, two, three or five. I can't go five, six, seven. So this would go five, four. Three. This is a three, no matter what. That's really cool. That's a very cool deduction. Whichever this is, this becomes a three. I like that. That's nice. This is a two, four pair. So there's no two, four here. So that means this goes either one, two, four or eight, four, two. There's no one, eight in here. So this goes two, four, eight, which point this would be seven or nine. Oh, this can't be one. If this was one, this would have to be two to be consecutive, and this would have to be two to be in a one to two relationship. So this is the eight, this is the four, this is the two, and this is seven or nine. Okay. This can't be five, surely. Because if this is five, is the between line broken? Yeah, because there's a three on the between line. So if this is five and nine, every digit has to be between five and nine, but three is not between five and nine. This is the one, this is the two, there is no one here. And now because this is one and nine, this between line is okay, I can put any digit on it. But this two makes this four, which means these are two and eight. And four is in one of those two. Actually, no, four is right there because there is a one four over here. Oh, this isn't a six. There is a six in here. This is a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One and eight go in here. So these are five, seven, and nine. And that's not a nine. Why did I even put that in? An invisible nine. It's black. And the reason it's a different color is because it's invisible. Um, this eight takes eight out of there. So if this can't be eight, this can't be two because two would go two, four, eight. I can't go two, four, one. So this is not two anymore. So this is one, two, four or two, four, eight. Hang on, this four is making this the two. So this is one and this is four. This one makes this four and this one. Again, one and nine on the between line. What that does mean, however, is I can, because I can never put one on the between line and I can't put one there, one is in one of those two. Can't put one on this because it's in the box. Actually, there is a four on this because of Sudoku. Four is in one of those three and this four knocks it out of there. So this is either two, four or four, eight. 
So this is either two or eight. That's interesting. So this is odd because these are all even. Anything that is consecutive with an even is an odd. So this is three, seven or nine. Nine, oh, nine is right here by Sudoku. Nine, nine and nine knock out all of those cells. So this is a nine, which puts nine in one of those two by Sudoku, which places a nine here, which puts nine in one of those two by Sudoku. Now, if this is a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, this has to be from one, two, or three, because if I just go down the minimum amount, eight, seven, six, five, four, this has to encompass the five digits that I have to put on this line that are lower than nine and still be lower than it. And this can't be a two. So this is a one or a three. And, oh, hang on, it's a one, because one is here, one is here, and I cannot put one on a between line. This is a one, which frees up this line quite a lot. But this is now a quadruple. One, two, three, five, six, and seven. There's no seven there. There's no five there. And this has not helped much, has it? This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. No, that hasn't helped much either. This. This is a run of three digits. It can't be one, two, three. Can't be two, three, four. Can't be three, four, five, four, five, six. Five, six, seven is possible. Six, seven, eight isn't at seven, eight, nine. This is only five, six, and seven, which puts a six in the middle, and these become five and seven. And this seven gives me the order. This is the five. This is the seven. There's no five here. There's no seven here. In fact, these are one, three, and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one, three, and nine. There's no one here. So this is a three, nine pair. This is the one. This is not the one. This is a triple. One, two, three. Well, in fact, this is the three because of that three. So one, two, three, four, five, an eight, which looks down, making this seven and this five. And this is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is a four, which puts four on this dot because four has to be up here, but not here. So four is on this dot. So this is from three, four, five. And there's no five there, but there has to be four on this dot. That's... I can't put three on that dot. Three can't go in here because it's a three nine pair. Three can't go in here because it's just not there. So three is in one of those two. That is not a three and there's no three here. This is four and five. That four takes four out of there, puts four there which still allows that to be 2, 8. But that's cool. 5 is one of those two. No, it's not. That's not 5 because of the 5 above it now. This is actually 5. So this is not 4, so it's 6, which means that's not 6. So this is 1 or 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 or 8. There's no six here anymore. So six is in one of those two. Oh, that's cool. Each consecutive dot must have an even and an odd digit in it. But the one, the three, the five, and the nine in this box are already taken up. So there must be a seven on this. So this is either 6, 7, or 7, 8.
which surprisingly enough doesn't get me anywhere. What I do get though is where is two in this box? Because I can't put two on here because I can't put two with seven. Two is not there and two is not there. So this is the two, which means this is the only place for the three. So this is the seven. This is the six. This is the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eight. Which means eight is in one of those two. But this three now, what's in this column? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. This is a six which means this is not a six. Five, seven pair makes this a six. So this has to be five or seven. So I've got a five, seven pair, but this five resolves it. That's the seven, that's the five, which looks up making that seven. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, one, two, three. There's no two here. This is one, two, or three. This is one or three because of the two in the column. This is one, three, or eight. Can't put one on a between line. Can't put one on a between line. That's been an eight for ages. Eight, one, one, three, eight. Three comes out of both of those, so that becomes the three. Oh, this is fun. I haven't resolved it yet, but it's fun. The, oh, hang on. This is a known pair, which is going to give me something about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven and eight, which means there's no seven in here. This is five, six. Seven and eight is resolved by that seven, eight and seven. Five and six is not yet resolved. This three, nine is going to have to get resolved by this somehow. What are these? One, two... Two, seven, and eight. Well, I can't put seven there. So this is seven, and this two makes this eight and this two. Two is consecutive with three, which makes this nine, which looks down making this nine and this three. The eight looks across making this five and this eight. This is three and six, which is resolved by that three. This is the six, this is the three. The six looks down making this five and this six. Uh, this eight looks up making this two and this eight. The two looks down making this one and this two. And then I need to put a one, two, three, four, and five. And that is history has its eyes on you. And I kind of feel seen, possibly by that camera. Hi, um, that was cool. Yeah, I'm really lucky that these people have made these puzzles for me because... Yeah, just wow. And I mean, I think the biggest gift I've gotten this month is the the invite to the special event that I'm at as tonight as this video comes out, but uh, which for me is in several days time, um, nearly a week. But um, I'm recording in advance because I'm going away. But um, yeah, receiving these puzzles of which there's quite a few um, is... <laughs> Is up, it's up there, believe me, knowing that people cared so much to go out of their way and anonymously create these fabulous puzzles. It, it matters so much to me. So um, I hope you're enjoying the puzzles, even if you don't give a, a, a rat's about Hamilton. And that's fine. Like, people don't have to like what I like. Um, you know, if, if we all like the same thing, the world would be a terrible place. Um, no, it, 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 just enjoy the Sudoku. People are here for the Sudoku and just enjoy the puzzles. The puzzles are good. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you everyone. I know tonight is going to have been emotional for me in many, many ways. So thanks everyone and good luck with your solving.